Americans to his early chapters in the to go on, for writing a fiction based on fact and lectures. He was basically story of the life of an English petty criminal It's been a pretty wet week in Melbourne, so I thought it was probably the perfect time to have a look at Van Diemen's Underwater Ink series. If you're unfamiliar with Van Diemen's Ink, they're based in Tasmania, Australia, and produce inks that are largely named after and inspired by their surroundings. I might do a full review of some of these inks down the line, but for now, this video is purely about my first impressions, so I'll be keeping my commentary to a minimum. Abyss is probably the most standard of the inks in the underwater collection, being essentially a very dark black. It's named after the abyssal zone, the layer of the ocean in which light can no longer reach. To reflect this, Van Diemen's ink have created what they say is their most saturated black ink to date. The dried writing sample has an almost matte quality to it, in the way it doesn't reflect back any light. Bioluminescence is very difficult to spell. It's also a stunning dark blue ink with heavy red sheening and a generous amount of bright blue shimmer. Bioluminescence is inspired by the beautiful glowing blue algae which sometimes lights up Tasmania's coast during the warmer months. Van Diemen's website describes the ink as mimicking the glowing shimmer of the algae on a dark blue near black ocean that is reflecting the last red light of dusk. I think that's a perfect description for this multi-layered ink, which has to be one of the standouts in an already amazing collection of inks. A perpetual fear of beach-going Australians is unwittingly touching a blue-ringed octopus in the shallows. They're incredibly venomous and can kill you with their bite. Fortunately, they're quite reclusive too. The rings around their body, from which they get their name, turn into an iridescent bright blue when provoked. Van Diemen's blue-ringed octopus does a great job of recreating this intensity with its complementary red sheen. There's plenty of other saturated blue inks like it, but it really does remind me of a blue ringed octopus.
Deep Sea Diver is a dark grey ink with a coppery looking shimmer. It's inspired by those cumbersome metal diving suits that you associate with the late 1800s and occasionally see depicted in TV and film. It's really nice seeing Deep Sea Diver's subtle shimmer when it catches the sunlight. Fire Coral is a very saturated red ink. It shows up lighter on my Tomoe River swatch than it does in the Rodeo writing sample. The picture on the Van Diemen's ink website is closer to the colour I experience in my writing sample. I'd never heard of Fire Coral before today, but it's been added to an already sizable list of ocean life I feel. When touched, they cause intense pain that lasts anywhere between two days and two weeks. The base colour of Ghost Ship is a bluey purple. It also has a slight dull orange sheen to it. It's another highly saturated ink in this collection. Van Diemen's ink state they've combined two separate indigo dyes to create its base colour. Moon Jellyfish is one of the more fun inks in the collection. It's a bright pink ink with a slightly lighter coloured pink shimmer. As a little aside, I didn't film this video sequentially, so if you're wondering why I'm writing with the Lamy Safari for the Moon Jellyfish and Neptune's Necklace samples, it's because I broke the tip of my glass dip pen. I've got to say though, the Neon Coral Safari and Moon Jellyfish make an excellent pairing.
Neptune's necklace is named after a very funky looking beaded seaweed. The ink is a golden syrup like colour with quite a lot of shading. I think the shading is more apparent here because I didn't use a dip pen. Although the manufacturer's website does describe Neptune's necklace as a shading ink. The parrotfish ink is as colourful as its namesake. If you're going to check out one ink from this collection, make it this one. It's absolutely stunning. Parrotfish has a lovely turquoise base colour with a healthy amount of purple shimmer. I love how it graduates from a shimmery purple to the base colour in the writing sample. Van Diemen's Royal Starfish is an extremely saturated deep purple with a green sheen to it. I noticed that this ink really clung onto the dip pen and the sides of the sample vial. It's named after a purple coloured sea star found in the Western Atlantic Ocean. Googling all these names has made me conscious of how strange and alien looking most sea life appears. I don't think I could begin to accurately describe what sea dragons look like, so I'm just going to throw up this picture. Pretty cool huh? Kind of like a leafy seahorse. The ink itself is a pleasant lime green without any sheen or shimmer.
Seashell is a gorgeous peachy orange colour with a light orange shimmer. It might just be my sample vial, but Seashell seems to have an extremely generous amount of shimmer powder in it. This makes the ink really sing when it catches the sunlight. I'm not really sure that my swatch here does justice to Van Diemen's sea turtle. The ink is a nice deep Sherwood green, with a usually much more pronounced red sheen. This was the ink I was most excited to try, and it didn't disappoint. Sea urchin looks black when initially applying it to paper. It's super saturated but eventually dries with a green sheen. Van Diemen's described this as an excellent and curious alternative to everyday black. Sunken Treasure looks like a sort of grey purpley colour with a bronze shimmer to me. Underneath all the shimmer there seems to be a nice amount of shading present too.
We're finishing the set very strongly with Van Diemen's Twilight Zone. It's a saturated blue-green ink with a red sheen. The ink is named after the layer of the ocean which lies approximately between 200 and 1000 meters below the surface and is home to many strange and wonderful creatures. It's hard to see anything but the prominent red chain in the writing sample. It's great to have such prolific and creative fountain pen ink manufacturers as Van Diemen's Ink and Robert Oster based here in Australia. The Van Diemen's Underwater Collection has an abundance of variety including sheening, shimmering and very saturated inks. There's also a good balance of fun and more reserved colours. I think there's probably an ink for everyone in this collection. I love the names, descriptions, and justifications for the ink colours Van Diemen's have provided on their website. They do a great job of showcasing and celebrating our oceans, and it's particularly nice to have so many local references. It still remains to be seen how the inks perform in a fountain pen. I'm unsure how some of the more saturated and shimmer heavy inks will flow and dry, but I look forward to trying them. I'll definitely be picking up a bottle of parrotfish and am strongly considering bioluminescence, moon jellyfish and seashell. I'd love to hear which of the inks you were most drawn to. Feel free to comment down below and start a discussion. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to help this channel grow.